Here comes a boat called the Tumbler. She's a lovely boat, 55 foot semi-trad, built by Liverpool Boats in 2004. She's in lovely condition. She was repainted last year by the owner and she's been blacked every year since 2018. The current owner has her out every winter on hard standing and that's been the opportunity for him to spray the, what do you call it, jet wash, that's what I'm thinking of, and black her every winter. So she's in nice condition inside and out. She was last black then in March this year. The engine was serviced at the same time. Combination of portholes and bus style windows. There is a Houdini hatch in the galley actually, that's quite a nice feature there, adds light and air. Good size, 55 feet, go anywhere, well 58 you can go anywhere, but there's a lot in this boat actually. Comfortable cushions for the seats both front and back. And let's go and have a look. The uh, water tank is under my feet here, it's stainless steel, 436 litres. There is storage in the bench seats either side of the well deck here. There's two gas bottles in there and plenty of room for storing other bits and pieces. Glazed front doors. And then we go to the saloon. The saloon itself is 9 feet 9 inches long. Super comfy sofa bed. This makes it into a double sofa bed. That might be part of the sale. The owner's up for discussion on that. The stove is a more so solid fuel stove. More so squirrel rather. Storage in that step. And over here is a clarion car stereo. And a decent sized storage cupboard. The current owners did use television with a portable aerial on the roof. Cupboard in there. And head height on the boat is huge, six foot seven. The lights are mostly halogen. And there's a view forward down the saloon. Really cozy room actually. The storage under that sofa, but I didn't mention that. The galley, nine foot nine inches as well. This cook is a hot point Ultima, four burner gas hob, oven and grill. That glass top gives you extra preparation space. Really nice and clean. The worktop's a laminate. I didn't mention behind the sofa bed there is a cupboard leading into the kitchen area. Five drawers there. You saw the washing machine. That's a whirlpool. There's a lot of storage in this boat. There's the Houdini hatch. Pulley out cupboardy thing. Really nice woodwork actually. She's fitted out in oak face ply with oak trim. There's a few beers still in cupboards, which won't be there for very long because the owners just said we could help ourselves. That's a freezer. There's the fridge. It's a Hayer, not heard of it. H A I E R, that brand. That's a spare cassette for the loo. And on the port side, you've got the sink with a draining board, a side hatch over wine rack there, pulley out cupboardy thing and another decent cupboard here. So there's an awful lot of storage actually in the kitchen. There's the bin. There we go. Bit of breeze today, you could just see that kitchen towel blowing. It's quite refreshing after the heat wave we've just had. Right, so walk through bathroom, five foot nine inches long. Linen shelves in between the shower and the cabin sides. It's a plastic countersunk basin, cupboard underneath. The kitchen and the bedroom are carpeted in the bathroom and the galley. It's a wood effect lino, I think. Heated towel rail in there. And the bedroom's at the back. This is a lovely room, 13 feet, seven inches long. The bed itself is six foot two by four foot. Storage underneath. More beer. If you wonder what the uh, noise is in the background, it's Cash the dog. He's sleeping and having a bit of a dream, I think. Lovely curved woodwork over the porthole there. And this is lovely, it's a desk. Don't know what's so lovely about a desk, but it just really works in this room. Quite a nice place to sit and read or work. 
There's a bung in that porthole. All the portholes in here do have bungs, by the way. There's three of them, 12 inches, and they all open. It's a bit dark, but that's a wardrobe. And the inverter's in there. It's a Master Vault Dakar Combi, two and a half kilowatt inverter charger. Storage under these steps. And in here, the hot water tank's under there with a bit of an airing cupboard area over the top of it. Hot water on board is heated by the engine. Out we go onto the back deck, comfortable cushions either side. Both these lockers are storage underneath. This deck itself is um, 4 feet 10 inches long, so it's a brilliant space. The engine's in here, it's an Isuzu 42. The battery's on the right of the screen, there's 410 amp hour domestics and one starter. <clears throat> there is actually, a, I should mention, a 3.5 kilowatt travel power generator. That puts 230 volts through the boat. There is a landline hookup point as well. She's centrally heated by an Ebersbacher diesel fired central heating system. Such a cosy boat, really lovely woodwork. I like Liverpool fit outs, it's just me maybe, but I know lots of people do that, it's a silly thing to say. Really cosy. <clears throat> Didn't mention a gearbox, it's a PRM 150. So there we go, she comes with all the navigation equipment you need to just turn the key and go. And that's the tumbler. For further information, fully downloadable colour spec, and the prize go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk.